This edition of the Ridley Report is brought to you by PatriotInternet.com Tired of Big Brother tracking your every move? Would you like to surf the net anonymously? Conceal your location? Well then check out PatriotInternet.com A New Hampshire business eager to attend your privacy needs. PatriotInternet.com Continuing to circle the wagons. The New Hampshire SPCA has ignored my written request to check on the welfare of certain horses in its care. SPCA, of course, stands for Society for the Prevention of Cruelty to Animals. Society operatives and government officials seized 12 horses from Candia, New Hampshire last week, but did not invite the media along. and have not been forthcoming regarding the raid. Of course, I don't really have a, a expert capacity for checking on horse welfare, but I can certainly videotape them, and that was the main thing I wanted to do. Now that my tax dollars have been used to seize the horses, it's my business. By the way, I would be reporting on this more, but I haven't yet received permission from the Travis family to use the video they shot of the raid. They did shoot some good video, though, and I will try to link to it in this uh, video description. Even though I haven't uploaded it, they have. Uh, liberty activists in New Hampshire have, to some extent, come together at the Travis house to uh, help them with spring cleanup. I'm not sure I made this clear, but the Travises are the people who had their horses seized by the SPCA and authorities uh, last week. Comments on uh, un the, un the union leader has been doing articles about this, and comments uh, are running roughly six to four uh, in, in, in against the government and against the SPCA. And this may be because the Travises have been rev relatively forthcoming to the media, while the authorities have not. Here's an interesting and revealing comment from UnionLeader.com, which I will call a backhanded compliment. From Darlene in Manchester, quote, The Free Staters have become experts at media relations. Even if there is no news, they will try to keep themselves in the news. Our local media has to become savvy and tune them out. Unquote. Censorship, violence, threats, tax expenditure. It's really all our opponents have to offer. Some government officials, however, have finally been talking a little bit, at least to the mainstream media, pointing out th that the horses didn't have health certificates, and saying that because of this, it's conceivable that the horses could have some sort of disease. They are apparently guilty of having a disease until proven innocent of it. But if they're feared of having disease, that's raised the question of why they would be taken away from one farm and spread to other farms. An NHFree.com member with the handle Arician says, quote, So, the SPCA took 12 horses, which are, according to the state, since they don't have health certificates, possibly infected with a deadly contagious disease, and transported them to other farms. That's worse than stupid. Candia Police Department, the New Hampshire SPCA, and the veterinarian accused of overcharging then snitching on the Travises, all have declined to respond to emails and phone calls uh, from the Ridley Report, at least as of March 13th. If and when they do respond, I will attempt to faithfully report what they have to tell me. Meanwhile, one of the, leader, uh, one of the readers on unionleader.com seems to have put it best. For the government, this event has been, quote, a debacle. This edition of the Ridley Report is brought to you by PatriotInternet.com.